Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom and thanks so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. Today we're reviewing software update 2021.44.30.2 here in our Tesla Model 3 performance in Sydney, Australia. Your car software is up to date as of 12th of January, 10.06 a.m. Let's check out the release notes right now. Okay, so 2021.44.30.2 looks exactly the same as 2021.40.30, the holiday update from December 2021. So nothing new to report at this stage. All the features I've already covered in that holiday update video, so make sure you check that out. So I guess today's update is more about bug fixes and performance improvements. We're going to do an autopilot test drive today to make sure there's no new bugs and to see if there's any improvements in the driving experience as well. All right, let's hit the road. Hey everyone, welcome back. We're on the open road and uh, we are heading to the Sunive showground, which is 11 min minutes away, according to the Tesla nav. Let's uh, engage autopilot. Let's uh, double tap on the right stalk. Here we go. A familiar sound. There's a car ahead turning right so I might just merge into the left lane here lane markings aren't terribly good but it still managed to lane change all right so yeah we'll do an end-to-end -end autopilot drive no cuts I promise just one continuous long footage that way you can see the autopilot drive end-to-end -end, warts and all and uh, as I said earlier we're here to uh, make sure there's no new bugs and to see if there's been any improvements at all in the last two updates since the holiday update 44.30. So as far as I can see, the uh, interface looks very similar to what it has been the last two times. The speedo is still in the top right corner, still small, unfortunately. Um, got this posted speed sign there, then you've got the uh, upper limit of the autopilot speed limit, and the blue max indicates that autopilot is on. Okay, so that uh, bit of a wobble through the intersection there. Lane markings weren't terribly good across that wide intersection, so that's why I just had a little bit of a bit of a niggle. But uh, always hands on the wheel, of course, guys, on autopilot, just to be safe. Let's uh, do a lane change to the right. Nope, I didn't want to do it that time. Or oh, I must have uh, pulled too hard, but let's uh, double tap again on the right stalk. There we go. So it should match the posted speed sign, and it does pretty well there. And uh, of course, those of you who don't follow my channel regularly, uh, I do have the FSD package in this car, so we do have that automatic lane change option there like this. So we can do a lane change like that by flicking the indicator either down or up, depending which way you want to go. We also have traffic light visualization, which means that if you're in a line of cars, and if you're not the first car, then it'll go across a green light, no problem. Uh, it'll always stop on a red light, but if you're the first car at the red light, it'll... Um, sorry, if you're the first car at a green light, it'll still need you to uh, confirm the green light by either pressing the accelerator or tapping on the right stalk there. And then you can proceed there. But as you can see, coming to a red light in the line, line of cars, it'll stop quite nicely there. Might put on the uh, side repeater cameras for you guys to see. Again, the nav turn by turn is down here. As you can see, I'm in a line of cars across a green light, so uh, the car will proceed without my confirmation. Quite a few cars on the road this morning for uh, 10 o'clock in early January. Interesting. So we'll do a mix of uh, urban driving as well as, um, I guess, not freeway, but uh, there's a section of road up ahead at 90 kilometers an hour. So as you can, you can see uh, what it's like at speed on autopilot. Nice lane change there. Yeah, I've had a few comments uh, recently um, about whether when cars are on autopilot like this, I mean, not necessarily confined to Tesla, but maybe even other other EVs or even other ICE cars now with auto steer functionality in their vehicles, whether there should be some sort of 
warning light system or whatever we've got to do, a plate maybe, to indicate to drivers that sometimes this car may not be quite unquote under full human control, or whatever that means. Um, okay, seeing that situation, I had to confirm with my accelerator because I was not in a line of cars then. Uh, someone quoted that maybe, you know, like, like the L-platers, they've got to have a L-plate uh, on the car to show drivers that, uh, you know, they're still learning. Whether we need the similar thing for um, cars under autonomous or semi-autonomous function. I mean, kind of two minds about that. I mean, you know, even if a car is under full, quote-unquote, human control, you know, sometimes a human is distracted for whatever reason. Um, at that time, I just tap on the right stalk there to proceed across the green. But I do understand where that comment is coming from and other comments are coming from. Um, you know, some might argue too that, you know, how, what, what determines a good driver? Do we start grading drivers? You know, give everyone a score and then advertise that on the car when they drive? I don't know. It's a difficult one. I mean, I, I personally am always very careful, as you guys have seen in my videos. I know that uh, it's not as some people have said, it's not for prime time yet. Like we don't, we shouldn't trust everyone with this technology yet. Um, Cause it's certainly not perfect by any means. It's not autonomous at all. Um, it's really just testing. But yeah, what do you guys think about that? Whether, uh, whether auto steer, autonomous, semi-autonomous cars like this should have some sort of plate or notification for other vehicles that uh, we're not always, you know, quote unquote, driving manually uh, there's some sort of autonomous function to it anyway let me know what you think all right let's do a lane change here and uh, we're coming up to the Mona Vale Road Junction where we can drive at 90 kilometers an hour which will be nice so currently with autopilot in Australia we can't turn yet so what I'll do is turn off autopilot as in the car won't turn for you you've got to uh, make that maneuver yourself so, here we go, 90 kilometers an hour coming up. Let's do this. Oops, sorry, it's still at 80. Let's uh, double tap down. So once this car passes the speed, posted the speed sign up there, then I can match the speed limit by either tapping the screen there or right stalk down, just halfway. Hold, one, two, three. It'll match the posted speed sign quite nicely there. Alright, so what I might do is actually just turn off the cameras for a sec, just so I get an idea of where I need to go. It's funny how, um, as a local, <laughs> you're always amused by what the nav is trying to tell you, because I know, I'm pretty sure there's a right turn at the St. Ives Showground, um, as opposed to having the U-turn, as what the nav is trying to tell me. There's a massive pothole there, and um, you know, this car doesn't quite pick up potholes yet, so you still got to be careful. <laughs> You don't want to drive through a big pothole because that could do some damage for your vehicle, which is not what you want for a shiny new car such as this. Well, it's not new anymore, but still shiny, right? I don't want to do any, any unnecessary damage to the wheel. So there we go, 90 kilometers an hour on autopilot. Works really well on the open road, by the way, quite nicely. So um, yeah, no problem at all. I still like testing it on urban roads just to see where we're at. But uh, yeah, on the freeway, I'm generally pretty happy. Makes for a very comfortable drive. As you can see, pretty much on rails, sticks to the speed limit, traffic aware cruise control, so it'll match the speed of the car in front of me. If it's going a bit slower, it'll drop down in speed as well, like what it's about to do now, I'm pretty sure. There we go, 89, 88. And what I might do is just turn off autopilot now, because I know there's a turn off here. There we go, I was correct. And yeah, it's just a right turn here into the St. Ives Showground. And by the way, I won't test it today, but there are there are um, three phase um, outlets here at the showground where you can uh, use a UMC tail to connect to. You still get single phase seven kilowatts charging, but it'll connect to those uh, five pin and three phase outlets if you've got the correct tail, correct adapter. I've done a video of that, of that already. Um, just check that out in my catalog. You'll see that it's available for sale. But uh, it's a very handy thing to have uh, personally. If you want to, if you go camping often or go to showgrounds often, then it's uh, very handy to have to keep in your 
frunk or your bonnet. And yeah, that today, my friends. I'm going to cancel that. We're done. Uh, yeah, well, I don't want to go COVID testing. I'm good. But I will turn around here and uh, go back onto Monova Road. This must be a COVID testing site. All these traffic cones everywhere. Alrighty, guys. Uh, not here for a COVID test. Don't worry. I'm feeling good, feeling healthy, not a close contact, etc., etc. Might uh, head back on the uh, Monavale Road and then we'll say goodbye then. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed that, guys. So, that is uh, software update 2021.44.30.2. What a mouthful, huh? What a mouthful. And by, by the way, the blind spot and monitor, as you can see, it's still down here in that corner. My hand is still blocky and nothing has changed, unfortunately. This is where the acceleration comes in super handy, like that. Get back onto the main road very quickly. Double tap the right stalk. Boom. Happy as you like. Back on the open road, 90 kilometers an hour. How good is that? What a nice feeling, huh? All right, everyone, take care. Uh, let me know in the comments whether you've seen anything I've missed in this software update, any bugs you've missed, uh, any suggestions for, for improvements for Tesla. I don't know whether they watch it. Maybe some, some of the techs do, who knows? But hey, you never know. Uh, leave a comment. Sometimes uh, they see it. Um, might be passed up the chain, you never know. Otherwise, stay safe, uh, enjoy your week, and I'll see you at the next software update video or at the next Tesla Tom Live. Until then, happy charging. <laughs>